Morning guys, it's PCTV Comfort Vision here at Cars and Brunch in Newport Beach. And this is a heck of a day we got going here. Right away we got a Volt. No, I'm kidding. Uh, we've got a beautiful 29 DeSoto right here. Uh, belongs to Mr. Bob Celine. And they're here having breakfast. I'm sure they're here with uh, Gunslinger and all them. Sporting his Dan Alive sticker. It's probably about the only 29 DeSoto you're ever going to see. And you can see he's got a dual clutch setup, brake and uh, clutch together, so he's on a hydraulic clutch. Mr. Mike Balmer's in the house. Speaking of, there he is live. And his beautiful vehicle, too. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Good, how are you? Good to see you. Hey, what year's your car again? 37. It is a 37. Yeah. Okay. And it's and it's called a humpback, right? Or Yeah. Yeah. Our two-door sedan. Or a slope, you know. One of the most beautiful cars ever. 37 spokes. I had this thing 10 years before I realized that. You gotta be kidding me. It's got 37 spokes 37 in the grill? In the grill. That's hilarious. I love this car. How long ago did you paint this? Actually, the body, with the exception of the fenders, is about 22 years. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. The fenders I had done a couple years ago. Just oh, because of the rocks. The pit, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get rock chip. But dude, this paint job has held up amazing. Really, yeah, yeah. Well, you've taken great care of it. Hey, good hey, morning. What's up? What's happening? Wow, it looks great, Mike. Good to see you. Hey, look at this character guys. here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? Good to see you guys. All right. Hey, I know who this is. This looks like uh, Mr. Paul Montesano's in this house. Oh, I'm pretty sure. No. <laughs> that was bad of me. NSX Acura. Um, again, probably one of the probably one of the supercars of the of the aughts, of the early aughts. That's going to be. A classic. I mean, this is actually truly a classic in my book. NSX is a really cool car. This is a really unusual kind of gold and uh, gosh, it's almost a copper interior, and it's like a copper, it's like a copper exterior. Really cool. Really cool. Uh, we got a shortage of VWs today, as you know. So we got a lot of moderns here today. Oh, but then we have a little Cooper. Look what's right here. It's not, and it's a Mini Cooper. I don't believe it's a Cooper S. Look at how sanitary and clean everything is under the hood here. Absolutely beautiful. Great little Cooper. And it's a right-hand driver. So you know where it came from. A 68. Oh, it's an automatic too. Wow. How rare is that? You can catch those automatic. So we saw Mr. Ron Marks earlier. That's nice. He's from in from out of town. There's Matt. Cute little Metro. And as I was watching the little car history the other day, they, was, they were marketed specifically to women and to women only. Cute little car. This is like an Austin Healey. Hey guys. Hey Matt. How you doing? Good to see you guys. Great contingent of uh, imports in Euros today. Love it. Jag's beautiful. Look at that Jag. Who's Healy? 74? Yeah. God, I aren't can't believe all? I... Aren't they all right? <laughs> you caught me. <laughs> you know, like 9,500 of them were built as right. like, the 74 models. So exactly. Yeah, so it's like... It's well, a 74, like, right? Yeah, they only <laughs> made like 10,000 of them. Right. <laughs> They're cool as can be. So rare. How long have you had the car for? built late, late 73. Yeah, that's like most of them are all, you know, anything pretty much pulled out for September is the next model. Yeah, because my buddy was freaking out the other day. He's got a, he bought a 70 truck and he goes, but it's 69 VIN. I go, it's okay, don't worry. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Who's Jack? Man, this is beautiful. Love your car, by the way. Really rare car. And that's why I saw it right away. I went, wow, I haven't seen one of these in a while. Nice Jag here. Beautiful. Look at the wood dash. The workmanship inside these cars. Of course, the electricals were horrible, but the interior workmanship in these British cars is just amazing. Get a look at this one here. It's a 3.8. It's an automatic. Oh, this is yours, Matt. Oh, you know, I recognize the jacket. Of all things, I actually recognize the jacket. 
that oh. was sitting on the front seat. <laughs> yeah. And I go, that looks like Matt's jacket. <laughs> it is. <laughs> what year is this? 63. It is a 63, huh? Yeah. God, how long have you had this one for? Well, my brother and I share it, my younger brother, Don. Oh, because okay. Because it was my mom's car, and my mom wanted... Uh, she wanted to have either a Jag Mark II or an Aston Martin DB4, and my dad found this. And when I just got my license, and uh, you gotta be kidding me! And we had a '62 Lincoln right when I got my license. Okay. Anyway, so what a car! My dad Jeez. took me in the state. Don, he told me to go get my younger brother Don, and he took us in the station wagon to go pick this up. But he didn't tell us. He says, we're getting something for your mom for her birthday. And so we go up there. And my dad puts my brother Don and I in this. And he drives home in the station wagon. It's like my so, buddy. <laughs> so that's, you know, that's What my... a great piece. So you guys have had this since day one. No, it was used. Oh, it was used. Oh, okay. But, but it was still, it wasn't Just a couple old. years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, but you're, you're basically second well, owner, yeah. all but new. It's like me right. when I buy my cars. I always try to buy them like a year old, two years old. Yeah, this I'll just a little older than that. I think it, I'm not sure if it was a little less than ten years old, but they were out of production. Gotcha. So. Gotcha. Well, this is an amazing car, and thanks, man. Yeah. We're gonna keep on cruising. You guys got some got some really cool stuff today. Thanks, yeah. man. I love it. It's good to see you too. So, yeah, did you guys come over from uh, Balboa? Yeah. Okay. Really yeah. You did the make the make ball ball great again. Well, I got there for a little bit, and then the, 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 some guy was coming around writing tickets, and we're like, "No, get out of here!" They were I don't writing know, tickets. I don't think he got anybody. I didn't get a ticket, as far as I know. If I get one in the mail, I'll be there. Wow, anyway, that's a trip. I've never seen it. Yeah, good. All right, good to see you. Nice Mustang here. How you doing, man? What was your name, by the way? I'm Chris. Chris, nice to meet you. I'm Patrick. Hi. Sorry about the left hand shake there. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> but you've got car interests. I like that. I, I love cars. Oh, yeah. I don't know much about them, but I, I still appreciate them. This is Gunslinger 5631100 Apache here. And fully shaved firewall. And he did the upholstery in this, did this himself, actually. Um, Gary's a, really a heck of a nice guy. And yeah. He did all of this upholstery himself. So this is a home done upholstery job, and what a job he did. He's gotten up in his years, so not as easy to do it anymore for him. And then Dan Seiden did not bring a panel today. He brought his double nickel. So we got the double nickel in the house of Dan Seiden's. Beautiful car, one of the American Racing Torque Crest 2s. I've got a starving son who's following behind me. And of course, he's got the great TMI interior in it. Went all the way with that. All right. I always forget this gentleman's name with this thing. He lives on Lido Island. Really nice guy. The Mustang's leaving. 74 thing right here. That's funny. That guy got me on the Austin Peely. There goes the Mustang. Yeah, this is looking like a 68 bug right here. Maybe a little, a little later. Could be a 70. And here is the Pantera. 71, I'm guessing, because the sliver bumper's on it. I think it's a 71 Pantera. Fast as can be. No Bill Miller. Oh, look at this. What's he licensed out of? Oh, he's out of Michigan. Beautiful Pantera. Beautiful coach working on these cars. I thought I saw an SS, but we got a Mitsubishi Lancer over here. 300 ZX. Let's go and take a look over here at this little uh, Roadster. That's a little sweet right here. And this is a classic high boy. Flathead. Ford's car. Look at this. Some triple Strombergs on here, yep. Triple 97s. Got offy heads on it. I actually thought I was going to have a really bottom. You can see it's a high boy because of the chassis. Beautiful paint. Excuse me, Carl. Don't mean to walk right in front of you there, brother. I don't mean to walk right in front of you there, brother. I know. Look at the steering wheel on this. Wow, is that a Mercury wheel? That's a Mercury wheel, right? Yeah, it's like out of a 49 Merc or something like that. God, look at the paint on this thing, dude. 
It is gorgeous. Caps, tires, just a classic high boy right here. Top notch. All right, transverse leaf in the back. Of course, transverse leaf in the front. Nice one. There's this Effie that came in. Beautiful blue. Got beauty rings and caps. For an original tank. Let's see what he's got underneath the hood here. Look at the, again. Look at the paintwork on this thing. And let's take a look at the bed. Really sweet. The only thing they changed the three of 56 was is this a 56? 53. Oh, it is a 53. Okay. The first of that design. Okay. Because, yeah, I walked up and go, this looks like a 53, and I was, wasn't 100, because I don't know my Effie's that well. That was the third generation. Oh, okay. Beautiful truck. Is yours? No. No, I wish it was. <laughs> I, I, I know a lot about it. Well, that's, you're a good guy to know. Thank you. I appreciate the insight. Look at the grill on I've this. got the, the 68 Mini. The owner is... Oh, is that on, yours? The owner's on your dad's... Uh, or your friend's 55 over there. He's looking around. Oh, okay. Here's a nice little 190 SL that just rolled in. Hey, I know that guy. I like this The idea of... That looks like Chris. Hey, Chris. How's it going? Looking tight. Good. Car of the week just a couple months ago. Yes. Nice. Oh, you're backing in? No. Oh, okay. Sorry. Looking good, brother. Thank you, too. Angel, how you doing, buddy? Hey, how's it going? Great show this morning. Well, thank you. I got to figure out who's going to. All right. Yeah, it's going to be a tough one today. All right. So let's look at this 53 here. We've got a Benz coming in here. Now, Carl just picked this up. Um, I think he said it was a 2004 uh, Viper. And as I was explaining to him earlier, these were 100% hand, 100 hand-built cars. Um, these cars were all hand-built in the factory by Mitsubishi. All the panels are all hand-formed. Everything is hand-built in this car. So it's pretty rare. All right. So, and we got the C10 over here. 74, crank 10. And of course, as you know, Every one of these videos is dedicated to our friend Dano and his memory. So here's a C10. Uh-oh. Somebody stuck that there. What happened? Oh, anyway. Beautiful Lincoln. The Let's Go Brandon sticker. I don't know where that came from. Right next to it, we got a 73 Mark IV. You know, my friend's dad, Bill Sr., had one of these. And then my friend, Bill Clark, rest in peace both of you gentlemen um he had a 67 cougar that was his dad's and we would actually his was green it was the exact think of this like in a metallic green same interior metallic green same interior exterior metallic green and he had this thing brand new and uh a couple of years old and we used to man we used to joy ride it all the time he could never figure out why he was always gas was low and whatnot anyway i just didn't mean to bump into lincoln there all right, guys, and we got a Mustang GT over here, so let's do a little sweep around. There's Trevor. Trevor's ready to eat. There's Bob. Hey, Bob, how you doing? Hi, right, sir. How you doing? Good to see you, man. Yeah. Love the DeSoto. It's looking it's good, good. It's good to be seen, as I say. Yeah, right? it says, you know, better, it's better to be seen above the ground, right? All right, guys, well, that is for Chihuahuas. Oh, well, we might as well close it out with the host. So, Angel, Yep. have you come up with a car of the week yet? Standing right next to it. Well, there you go. So we're going to go ahead and close out today's walkthrough with Mr. Angel Marchand. Thank you for Cars and Brunch. Thanks. Thanks for coming out. You know, hope, hope, I try to get out when I can. Yeah, come on out. You know, there's a lot of beautiful cars here. You know, this week we've got quite a few, but, you know, last week we had like 60 cars here. So no kidding. Yeah, it, it, it fluctuates. Yeah, so. yeah, it goes up and down. And yeah. I think we weather, were... weather was really nice last week. So we had a lot of cars out there. You know, we did that big early times cruise last week and I was yep. thinking about you the whole time. <laughs> I'm thinking, I'm burning all this gas and I could be down a cars at brunch and just having a great time. Well, just, you know, everybody should come out. I mean, look, you've got a nice, look at that thing. Okay. Yeah, look at that. And a great place to eat. And a great host on top of that. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank All you. Right.